Hey everyone, it's Robertina. I am so excited to be here today. I'm here with my good friend Astrid, and we are actually at D'Angelo Beauty Supply, which is Utah's newest beauty supplier. So I'm like super honored to be here today and super honored to be here with BTC. We are gonna play with dimensional color and I'm gonna talk less and do more hair. So let's get to it. Astrid here has amazing hair, first of all. She has colored this hair. So I wanna point that out because it's super important. She, this is artificially colored hair. So one of the cool things that we're using today is our Dimension Plus. It is our one-step lift and deposit hair color that also cuts through artificial color. So I am absolutely pumped to be playing with this color today, especially on freshly dyed hair. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to section her off while I tell you about this color. So the two colors that I'm using are 0.66 and 0.44. So let me just grab these just to kind of show you what we're playing with. 0.66 and 0.44. So an intense red and intense copper. So dimensional reds and coppers are seriously where it's at with this line. I'll give you the formula as well as I start playing with it. I just want to show you my sectioning real quick first. What we're doing with Astrid is she tends to wear her hair forward, so in front of her shoulders, which is an important thing with this technique. I'm going to take diagonal sections, but I'm going to diagonal them this way, knowing that she wears her hair forward. So what that does is it's going to give her a bolder piece of color, as opposed to if I were to do her diagonal sections this way, so if this was her section, and knowing that she wears her hair forward, all of this would be dispersed and it would give more of a blend as opposed to a bold color. So that's how we determine which diagonal we're using for Astrid. So we're gonna go ahead and get this section up here. I'm gonna suit up with my gloves and we're gonna get rocking. This is a really fun, quick technique with a lot of punch. So thanks everyone again for joining, but I'm once again, I'm Robertina. I'm an Aloxy international educator and I'm super, super excited to be here with behind the chair. Okay, our two formulas that we're playing with are 0.44, which is our intense copper. I just wanna show you how beautiful that looks. So we utilized our boost with this and 40 volume. The other color that we're playing with is 0.66, which is our intense red, again with boost and also with blue developer. I wanna keep that red a cool red, so like a true red. All right, we're just gonna jump right in. This is a combination of block color and balayage. Um, I want it to look like a block color, but not as blocky, if that makes sense. I'm gonna show you how. So we're gonna start with a nice big section. Okay, you can see that. And what I'm gonna do is rather than having this straight line, I'm gonna do a slight zigzag. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. So what that does is it gives you the block color, but it also diffuses it and softens it a little bit. So it's not so blocky like I mentioned. Flip that up, out of my way. So this will be the section that we balayage paint. Nice clean section. First things first, because I'm only doing pieces, I'm gonna mist on color prime onto these pieces. It's an awesome prep, doesn't matter what color you're using, what color line, this is a great prep for any color service. Okay, so I've got my section. We're gonna start with our red. Heavily saturate this just like you would a block color. And then once we get to the top, to make sure we're even more diffused and seamless, we're just gonna feather up into the top rather than painting the whole strand up at the scalp. Because we want that color to seamlessly go from her natural to the edge. 
So while I'm applying this, I, again, I just want to tell you how amazing Dimensions is. So not only is it going to cut through her level five hair and give her a beautiful red tone, it's also going to cut through her artificially colored level five hair. Okay, so we've got this piece here. Now when it's done and she's wearing her hair down in front, she's going to have this beautiful, bold piece of red that just seamlessly comes through. Is this on natural hair, Tina asked. No, her hair has been artificially colored. So she used, I believe it was 5N, right, Astrid? Yes. 5N on her hair, and just recently, too. So one thing I want to mention is because she just recently colored her hair, and I know that, that's why I utilized Boost in her formula. So Boost is just going to give us just a little bit more oomph, a little bit more lift on that red and on those coppers. So again, I'm taking my section and I'm doing some slight zigzagging just to soften up that nice bold piece of color. And again, what that does is it makes it look just a little less like a block color, but still bold like a block color. What's the reason behind using pre-color mist? So our color prime is the perfect prep to any hair color service. What it does is it desensitizes the scalp if you're doing a color service that any color might get on the scalp. So it keeps your itchy clients from being itchy. Um, anyone that's a little more sensitive, it just kind of helps protect the scalp. It also has natural cleansing agents. So anything that's on the hair, you know, from the elements or light product, it'll help clean that. And it also equalizes the porosity of the hair. So when your hair is porous at the ends, that can cause a little bit of trouble when you're coloring, whether it's going light or going dark. And so this just kind of helps fill that in. So basically, you're, it's like you're adding protein to the hair. And it just helps keep your colors true, keep your colors even, and it helps your colors last. What volume developer is used? So on both of these formulas, I'm using 40 volume. For the copper, we're using regular 40 volume. For the red, we're using 40 volume in blue to maintain that nice, true, deep red. So already we've got these two beautiful, bold pieces. And this is just to add a little bit of pop to Astrid's already gorgeous hair. And we're working our way up to her part. We've already established where she parts her hair, which is always important for me to know because then I know that that's what we need to work around. Are there any other shades of red in this color line? Oh my goodness, I thought you would never ask. There is, there's also a 0.26, which is a red violet. And it's actually probably one of the colors that I use the most behind the chair in the salon. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep violet red. And I usually utilize the blue developer with that because when you're lifting, especially when you're lifting the darker levels, you know you're going to expose warmth. And it just kind of helps just control that warmth just a little bit to where your color stays on that cool side. Okay, so I'm alternating my two formulas my 0.44 and 0.66 and just really really making sure those ends are nice and saturated because i want that pop through those ends so nice and heavy this line the dimensions line can absolutely be used under heat if you want um what i like to say is if you want the max result is use boost use 40 volume and also put it under heat will it not lift the hair it's sitting on not meant to be lifted so what i'm doing i'm assuming you're referring to these pieces here so what i'm doing once i get this strand nice and saturated i'm going to place it down in the front and the other hair i'm going to place off to the back and very gently once you set the hair down, if you're not messing with it anymore, you shouldn't get any contact from that uh, colored hair. 
If you feel better putting a foil or a wrap or anything in between, please feel free to do so. The reason that I start from the bottom and work my way up, not only because the bottom hair tends to be darker, but also because once I set it down, I don't have to move it anymore. So once I place this down gently, I don't have to touch that anymore. So it's not going to interfere with the other hair. In between every strand, just make sure my hands are nice and clean. Keep asking those questions, you guys. And um, somebody, a lucky somebody is going to win our whole dimensions kit. So ask those questions, leave those comments for sure. Okay, I got my next section. I'm making sure to leave some natural in between each red and copper section because I want... I don't want the ombre look. I just want pops of red and copper, and I still want some of her natural in there. So we're getting up to close to our parts. So we're getting close to being done on this side. Get one more copper in here, and we'll move on to the other side. What is the purpose of 40 volume blue, and is it something to use to lift different colors? Yeah, so the whole purpose of the blue 40 volume developer is to help control unwanted warmth. So in this situation, I use the blue developer with my red because I want the red to stay on the cooler side. So more like your blood red as opposed to a red that has the orange or warm tones. So that's what I'm utilizing that for. But the beautiful thing about Aloxy's blue developer is you can use it with any color for lift and controlling warmth, or you can use it with our lighteners, which, I mean, anybody that has done a blonde or is blonde, sometimes you need any extra help you can get. Does heat conduction from foils tend to change the lift? So, yes, but not as much as if you were to put this color under heat. I mean, anytime you're using heat, it's going to help process a little bit faster, or in this situation, it's going to lift a little bit brighter. Okay, so I'm going to bring down the rest there and see where we're at next to her part and see if we need to go up anymore. Would you consider back combing to help the blend? You absolutely can. In this technique, what I've done is not only am I taking diagonal sections I'm also zigzagging so for me that's enough to help that blend if you're still unsure or if you want even more of a blend you can absolutely tease it a little bit or you can air touch it that works too so bear with me for a minute I'm just going to rotate her over I'm going to show you this real fast so we've done our four big pieces here it's going to have a lot of pop a lot of color and we're going to leave this down because we still want that natural through there. We don't want a high maintenance color today. We just want the colors coming through the ends. All right, so we're just going to slowly rotate. There we go. And we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. How many levels of lift does it give? Okay, that is an awesome question. So if you notice with these colors, they are not, there's not a level in front of them. So it's, the color itself is 0.66 or 0.44. So it's not going to lift you to a specific level, but using 40 volume, you're going to get at least three levels of that lift. The hard thing is when you're working with artificially colored hair, you, you're not going to get as much. So that's why I utilize the boost in there is because I know that we're not just breaking through the natural color. We're breaking through artificial color. So the boost is just going to help us get a little bit more lift. So same angles here. Let's see here. How much time does this take? So the technique or the processing? I'll go ahead and tell you both. The technique doesn't take very long, just depending on how many pieces you want, how much impact you want. The processing, you want to let her process for the full 45 minutes. 
because the first part of that process is going to be your lifting and the rest of that process is going to be your depositing, so your pigment deposit. Whether it's the copper, the red, we've got a beautiful, beautiful 0 0.31, so it's like the most foolproof uh, caramel color on your brunette. We also have a 0, 0.0, which is a gray natural color. And like I'd mentioned before, our 0.26 is fantastic as well, our violet red. And keep up with those questions and comments. You can win the whole set. Okay, so I'm starting down here. Same, same technique, saturating with 0.66. Then once I get to the top, we're going to feather it in. Let's see. Is there any name for this beautiful technique? Oh my goodness. I feel like we should just have you guys name it. What do you think about that? Or we can call it the Astrid after my beautiful model here. Yeah, I think I like the idea of you guys naming it. What do you think about that? Best name wins. So again, just feathering through and I want you to pay attention where I'm holding the hair out. Going back to the blending question, I'm holding the hair exactly perpendicular to my part because once I release it and it falls, I want you to watch this line right here. So right now I have a line, but once it releases and goes into its natural state, can you see that line just totally soften up and diffuse? That's another foolproof way to get good blend is don't hold it in its natural, you know, where that hair lives, hold it out. Okay, so now we'll pull that forward, make sure those ends are nice and saturated. So thanks again, everyone, for joining. I'm super excited to be here. Once again, I know you can't really see me, but I'm Robertina with, I'm an international educator with the Loxy, and I'm super, super excited to be showing you some fun dimensional reds and coppers. Let's see, can this product be used on and off the scalp? It absolutely can. Make sure you're utilizing your color prime. If you're, my rule of thumb is if you're doing anything on the scalp, or any chemical service period, you should be using color prime. That's just my advice. But especially if you're doing any sort of coloring on the scalp, it just really helps keep that scalp nice and calm by desensitizing it. And then we have another product that's really amazing that we'll be using after this. It's called Color Lock, for those of you that haven't used it. Again, it can be used with any color line, any kind of color. It can be used with a permanent, a demi, a semi, a stain, a direct dye doesn't matter. And what color lock does is it seals up the cuticle and really, really locks that color in. How would you charge for this technique with this color? That's a tricky question. I mean, you have to base it off of your area, your clientele. What I recommend is if it's any sort of specialized technique, I would definitely charge more. So this, because this absolutely would be considered a form of balayage, charge your balayage price. And don't, you guys, don't, make sure you're charging what you're worth. And I know that's like, that gets said all the time, but it's so true, charge what you're worth. Okay, so again, I'm just making sure I'm feathering here as I get higher up. And then I always like to go through and check my ends. And if it looks like I need more product, I cake that on. Just like lightener, if you're heavily saturated, you're gonna get more lift, more pop to that color. Also, I think I mentioned it, but I'm gonna mention it again, just to be sure. If you use the code BTC Love on Aloxy's website, you're going to get 20% off your entire purchase. So now's the time to get stocked up on all the things that you need in your life. Okay, set that over. She's looking fabulous already. How thick are the sections that you're taking? 
So let me show you. They're approximately an inch to an inch and a half. So I'll show you how to tilt your head a little bit. There we go. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take my section just like that. But then I'm going to add my zigzags to it. So through the bottom, I'm going to do my little zigzags because I want to make sure I have that natural through here. Oh, let me let me try that one again. I've got my natural piece here because I want that natural through those ends too. And then I'm going to do the same up here and do just a nice little zigzag. And what that does is it keeps your color from looking too blocky. Pin that out of the way. So at the end, here's my section. So you're looking at about an inch. You see that okay? Thank you, my dear. And this can totally be tweaked based on your client. Maybe your client wants a little bit more blend and less of a blocky color. That's fine. You can take smaller sections and more of them. Or you can switch your diagonal from coming down this way to going back this way. That'll give you much more blend for the client that wears their hair in the front. Are you doing just the front? I am, I'm doing, but I'm doing the entire side. So I, I, my sections were from behind the ear up and I'm doing that whole side on the left side and the whole side on the right side. So what's gonna happen is I know that Astrid wears her hair in the front. So I'm catering to how my client wears her hair. With it all being pulled up front like that, I'm only focusing on these because all that back is gonna come to the front anyway. But you absolutely could add some of this color, add some of these pieces to the back. What I would recommend doing there is maybe a herringbone pattern. So doing one section diagonal this way, then the next one diagonal the other way. So if you, if you don't know what a herringbone pattern is, a lot of times they do it with, you know, tile or um, just different kinds of floorings. So it's just a really pretty pattern and it works really, really well with hair color. Regrowth and retouch, how would you go about it? So another reason I'm not going up all the way to the scalp is because this will be easily retouched. You won't have to worry about separating her regrowth, you can just do the regrowth color like you normally would. And typically, I would apply her regrowth color first and then do this, but she literally just did this color not too long ago. So I don't need to apply any more regrowth color. As far as retouch goes, if you're wanting to do the same colors, so the intense red and the intense copper, my suggestion would be to use our tones line, so like our demi permanent line, and retouch with those. But if you want more lift and you want them brighter, you can go over it again with your dimensions. Just know that it's going to lift every time you use it. I was wondering why you're not using any type of foil or medium that will keep the hair segregated. So I had mentioned before, the way that I'm placing the hair down, I don't necessarily feel like I need that separation. Um, I started working from the bottom up because once I color a section, I'll set it down and I don't have to touch it again. And then the natural pieces all move off away from that and I'm not pressing that hair down, I'm just placing it down. So I know that there's not gonna be any contact or there's not gonna be enough contact for the color to transfer. Does this color bleed onto blonde? So this color dimensions, this color would be recommended on level up to level six. You don't use it for anything lighter than a level six. But if you're using it and also using blonde, I would definitely take some precautions so the blonde doesn't pick up this color in the shampoo bowl. So whether that precaution is making sure you're color priming or making sure your color locking or using cool water or separate sections, whatever your precaution may be, I absolutely would use it because this does have, this does pack a lot of pigment. Okay, we're down to our last section. 
Nice and saturated. So when using your hands to blend the color, do you keep changing gloves or how do you keep from making a mess? I am using a towel. I'm not changing gloves. I have a towel here next to me that in between each color, I'll go through and just quickly wipe my hands. Um, the nice thing is these two colors are uh, in the same family. You know, one's red, one's copper. So I'm not like super, super, how, how do I say? It? I'm not like really, really cleaning my hands like, like I would if I was working with like a dark and a blonde, but I am wiping with a towel. Okay, we've got our last section here. This beautiful blue color is our intense copper. I'm just gonna saturate it a little bit more. And once again, I just want to point out that I am working with Boost as well. And Boost is basically, it's like ammonia in a tube. It's amazing. It helps give extra lift with your regular colors, your chroma colors. It will give you up to an additional level of lift. Um, with dimensions, it'll help lift more so you have a brighter color. It's pretty fantastic. How is the longevity of the product? Uh, this stuff is amazing. And I don't know if there's any other word to explain how well this color lasts. Obviously, you want to make sure your clients are doing what they're supposed to be doing when it comes to home maintenance. But this color absolutely lasts, I would say, as well as a permanent color. So I've got our last section here. We're going to pull down her hair up here and kind of take a look, see where we're at based on her part and see if we need to go up any higher. So for that question, here's my towel. I just, when I'm done, just quick wipe and move on to the next section. So let me get Astrid moved a little here. Should we turn it a little? So we've got all these beautiful pops of color that she's gonna have, and then her natural is still in there. So now if you wanted to, in the back, let's just adjust here a little bit. If you decided you wanted to add some to the back, maybe your client needs some color in the back. So what I would recommend doing is again, starting from the bottom, and I would do a herringbone. So your first section would come down at whichever angle you decide. So since I'm over here, I will do this angle right here. So that's gonna be your first section. Okay, once you're done with that section, your next one will come easier. Will come like this, down like this. Then your next one will come on top of that at this angle. Next one here and so on. So that gives you a very nice herringbone pattern, which also gives you that dimensional color through the back as well as the blending. So we're gonna turn her back here. Don't mind me with the camera. So I'm gonna show you just a quick little recap of our pieces that we've got. So these nice, big, bold pieces are gonna be our copper and our red. I have a client that only wants the more copper-based reds. When she gets a little too orange, would the blue developer help take that back down to a richer red? So she wants the copper red or? Yeah, so absolutely, you can use the blue developer anytime you're wanting to create a cooler color. Just remember that our blue developer comes in, I'm gonna join you back over here. Hi. <laughs> our blue developer comes in 20 volume and 40 volume. So just keep that in mind if you're, um, just know that it's a higher developer. We don't have it in 10 or seven. So just keep that in mind that you are working with a stronger developer. So Astrid has been balayaged. She, we're gonna let her process for the full 45 minutes. Don't forget, we've got a code. It is BTC Love. You can use that to get 20% off your entire Aloxy purchase. Um, and also 
keep commenting, keep asking questions. I'll hop on and see if there's any questions I missed. I would love to get on and answer them for you. Um, and then you get a chance to win our whole dimension sign, which is awesome. There's five amazing colors. They're all great. Um, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram. I'm at Hair by Robertina or same thing on Facebook. You can DM me, ask me questions. Um, we will be showing the final result with Astrid once she's all done processing, once we get her all styled. Um, and thanks again, BTC, for letting me be a part of this. And I can't wait to show you our finished result. Bye, guys. Thanks.